Hello everyone, I'm doing a nautical craft today. These are items all from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start with this burlap cream fabric. All of these fabrics are from Dollar Tree and we're gonna be making a cute starfish burlap pillow is the background. This is a no-sew, very important to point out. And I'm gonna start with my few fabrics and then I'm going to take a white poster board, just some little scraps I had laying around and I'm going to draw out a starfish. So if you want, you can follow this, my starfish that I did. Otherwise you can just look on Google and Google starfish and find a starfish shape that you like and just cut it out and use that as your tracer. So I am going to grab my first fabric. For this pillow, I'm gonna use three navy fabrics and this first one I'm going to just trace on the back and the same with the second one, because I'm gonna trace with a Sharpie and you don't wanna see those marks from the front when we put the starfish on the pillow. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the third, even though it's a little bit hard to see the black marker on this darker navy, but it worked out enough that I could cut them out efficiently. And I just cut the square out and then I'm gonna save those other pieces or the rest of the fabric for another project because this fabric is so cute from Dollar Tree and I picked up about seven or eight of them. So I'm just gonna cut each one of them out with that same starfish form. You do not have to have these starfish the same size, but that's up to you. Then I'm going to, with a glue gun, glue each end of the folded over cream piece of burlap. And then I'm just gonna glue those sides together. And you might wanna have a cardboard or something for a protective surface so you don't ruin you know your table or whatever you have it on and then once you have that glued it should dry pretty quick as you know with a glue gun and then you're just going to turn that fabric inside out so once you have it inside out you're going to grab your stars and lay them out i did not want mine you know i kind of wanted mine going off the pillow a little bit so i played around with it a little bit to see exactly how i wanted them and made sure they were turned around the right way. And once you have those in place, you can grab your glue gun and you can start gluing the first starfish. So I just took one of the legs of the starfish and glued that down because with the glue gun, you have to work quick. So I do not want to glue the whole starfish and try to place it down because I was afraid that that glue would dry too quick. So um, I put my first one on the corner edge and I wrapped that one arm around it because I kind of wanted it like it was going off the pillow, but you can kind of do whatever here. And even if you wanted to add another starfish or something, you could do this. But I just used the same process with each of the starfish, glued each leg down on each of the five um, feet of the starfish. And then once I was done, you're just, it's not going to take long to dry but you are going to grab your polyfill after this because we're going to stuff it. Now, the only thing, if I were to do another one, I would probably have glued some of that bottom together because I still would have had space to turn it around and turn it inside out. But it just made a little bit more work at the end, but that was okay. So now we are gonna do the stitching. I am doing a no-sew method, so I'm doing a fake stitch like I've done before in some of my other crafts. And I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and a thin bristle paintbrush. And I'm doing a tiny little line to make it look like a stitch. And I'm going all around the edge of the starfish legs. Now this is my favorite part because I love to paint and I think the results were just fabulous. It looks like it's a real stitch pillow from up close and from far away. So I'm gonna be using this method a lot more. And I just use the same little lines, try to keep it consistent so it looked like actual stitching. And then um, the third one, you can't tell as much because it has those opposite lines, but it worked out well. And wait till you see it at the end. I finished stuffing it. And then at the end, this was the trickier part, but because you have to work with the stuffing and try to close it up, but I just turned the outer edges in and you'll be able to see it. I'm kind of going off camera here, but I kind of turned them in here and glued the inside and I worked just in like half an inch spaces all the way to the end of the pillow until I had everything closed up nicely. And I ran into some of these strings. So I just cut them off as I went because it's not gonna 
like ruin the shape of the pillow or anything. So by all means, just cut off those strings as you go. And I just very carefully worked my way down until I got to the very end and closed it up. So you just want to make sure that when you're stuffing this, that you have it even. So then once you have it even and full, you don't want it too full because you want to have enough room to close that up. But mine worked out well, and you'll be able to see it at the end here, how cute it turned out. So I think I might do an octopus next, and there's so many different things you can do with this. So I hope you like, and you can try one. Thanks for watching.